It's a bit windy today, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Turn in your Bibles to Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 9. That's Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 9. When the plague of leprosy is in a man, then he shall be brought unto the priest, and the priest shall see him. And behold, if the rising be white in the skin, and it have turned their hair white, and there be quick raw flesh in the rising, it has an old leprosy in the skin of his flesh, and the priest shall pronounce him unclean, and shall not shut him up, for he is unclean. Okay, so remember this. There's a white rising, the hair is white, and there is quick raw flesh. So, white rising plus white hair plus quick raw flesh gives you unclean. We're reading from verse 12. And if a leprosy break out abroad in the skin, and the leprosy cover all the skin of him that hath the plague from his head even to his foot, Wheresoever the priest looketh, then the priest shall consider, and behold, if the leprosy have covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. It is all turned white, he is clean. Okay, so did you get that? If the leprosy break out abroad, if the leprosy cover all the skin, and it's wheresoever the priest looketh. So, leprosy breaking out abroad, plus covering all the skin, plus wheresoever the priest looketh, equals white, equals clean. What's interesting in this passage is that the priest isn't necessarily seeing that it's white. God is telling him that it is white in this passage. And then after telling the priest that it's white, He's telling the priest that it's clean because it's white. So when it's white, it's clean. Look at verse 14. But when raw flesh appeareth in him, he shall be unclean. And the priest shall see the raw flesh and pronounce him to be unclean. For the raw flesh is unclean. It is a leprosy. So, if... The priest has seen the whole flesh is covered with the leprosy, and to his understanding it seems correct. But he finds a small piece that has raw flesh, then he knows it's unclean. So raw flesh equals unclean, even if it's covering the whole body. The other thing is the priest might not have looked everywhere. To his understanding, he might have looked everywhere, but he didn't. So it wasn't white at all. We're continuing to read in verse 16. Or if the raw flesh turn again and be changed unto white, he shall come unto the priest, and the priest shall see him. And behold, if the plague be turned into white, then the priest shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. He is clean. What a miracle. Sometimes the person had the leprosy and then the leprosy is turned white um, in a time frame. And then he presents himself unto the priest and the priest declares him to be clean. Because he is white. So now the skin has turned white. So turned white equals clean. Maybe you'll remember those four things. Maybe you can write it down. The Bible teaches, however, that there are two different kinds of leprosy. Those with the raw flesh and those with the white skin. The one is considered to be unclean. The other is considered to be fine. It looks a bit weird. But that person can appear in public. 
there's no problem for that person to appear in public. The other person will have to stay outside the gate because he has raw flesh. His leprosy is unclean. He cannot go out in the public. Now that you've written that down, let's turn to Luke and chapter 4. Luke and chapter 4 and we're reading from verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. That's one of the most important things that you should know. Verse 19. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Verse 20. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, Many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up, three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them, was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha, the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman, the Syrian. So Elisha, the prophet, healed one. Naaman, the Syrian. That's the only one he healed. There was many in his time that was leprous, but the only one that was healed was Naaman. Now turn in your Bible to the book of 2 Kings. 2 Kings, and we are turning to chapter 5, and we're reading from verse 26. And he said unto him, Went not mine heart with thee, when the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee? Is it a time to receive money, and to receive garments, and olive yards, and vineyards, and sheep, and oxen, and men servants, and maid servants? The leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee, and unto thy seed for ever. And he went out from the presence as a leaper, white as snow. So Gehazi, the servant of the prophet, became as white as snow. He became leprous. Now turn in your Bible to 2 Kings and chapter 8 and verse 4. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that Elisha hath done. So why was the king able to talk to Gehazi? Because Gehazi was not unclean. He had a white leprosy. He did not have raw flesh. And this 
has confused many people for many centuries because in the previous chapter there are some lepers that do, does a good deed and a very good deed they practically saved the city so many teachers were teaching that one of those leprous men were Gehazi and that he was healed because of his good deed and otherwise generally speaking it would have been difficult to figure out whether that was Gehazi or not but having Leviticus and Luke as a witness we now know it not to be so this is actually a very beautiful story in scripture and I'm going to be reading the whole story of Gehazi um, in the next video somewhere in nature I hope you look forward to it and enjoy the video until then